Alright. Torture talk. So today I want to do a review of something I came across on Facebook actually. Uh and I was uh listening to uh it today. And uh I'll get into it. Uh but but first like, share, subscribe to the page. Uh, this is Torture Talk. I do reviews on albums. Uh whatever album I see, I think looks interesting, or if I like, I just I just do a review on it. You know what I mean? I like to do reviews. So uh I listened to the album this morning three times. It was not that long. It's actually an EP. I listened to it three times. It was uh it's called <laughs> Night mode, you know what I'm saying? Uh, N I T E M O D E, night mode. Um, and it's by artists uh, called Two Night, you know, all one word, Two Night, spelled out. So, getting into it, I never heard this artist before, never heard any of his work, so I don't know. He has any previous work, but I know I clicked the link and it took me to this album. Okay, so this album has its good highs and its lows. Now, off the back, I will say that this album sounds up to date retro. And what I mean by that is there's some songs on this album that give me that guy vibe, that give me that that uh, uh, old H-Town vibe, uh, 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 the Jodeci vibe, all of those vibes, but it sounds modern. And the, I guess the writing on this was okay. The, the, the only downside about this album, sometimes I think with these new artists or newer artists or people that's doing newer music, I think a lot of times they put too much effects on their voice and it drowns their it drowns their vocals out you really can't understand what they're saying it's not that they're mumble rappers or they're mumble saying something mumbling it's just sometimes when you put too much effects on it whether it's auto tunes whether it's uh, uh delay effects uh, whether you're trying to pan it left and right whatever whatever you're trying to do a lot of times it put too much on it too much reverb, too much sounds like you in a hallway, whatever. I don't know if they're trying to mask if they can really sing or not. But with that being said, um, it was a it was a decent listen. Um, I think that for me, sonically, like I said, it sounds a little retro, uh, up to date. The problem I had with this album is, and I, and I, and I get this from a lot of newer artists is they fall into that same category of not necessarily trying to be like somebody else, but trying to keep the, the modern sound going. And it's like, I listened to this album and I can tell whoever did this album, they're pretty talented enough to start their own type of wave. And not to say that they're taking somebody else's wave. It's just sometimes I feel like with these newer artists, they kind of like they fall into that category of doing the same type of music that everybody else is doing. And it's not that they're copying, it's just that this is the sound now. This is the way to go. Sometimes I think you have to be a little bit different and go, go to the left instead of going with the whole right or instead of going with the whole right, go to the left. And that's the only downside I hear about this album. I mean, the lyrics was cool, lyrics was okay. You know, get a couple of uh, good, uh, meaningful lines in there. But overall, I mean, this project, this project to me is one of those projects I'll probably listen to again, you know, and I would recommend it. I'm not going to lie. I would recommend it if you like that. But for me, I'm listening to this stuff and I'm saying, I know that these, I know that these dudes, whoever, if it's two or one or whatever, I guess it's two because it's two night that they can do a little bit more broader music. You know what I'm saying? And granted, this is an EP. You know, who knows? It could have more music that's different. I don't know. 
because I didn't listen. To, I haven't heard their music. But I just think that a lot of these artists can do so much better. They could do so much better, you know, and I get it. Everybody wants to be successful because everybody wants to run with a certain thing because you don't want to feel like you're an outcast. But sometimes, sometimes taking that step and pushing it, pushing a narrative somewhere different, that's what builds legends. You know what I'm saying? That's what make you stand out. You know? You gotta I so I'll give you a good example. Often I see people comparing the weekend to party next door. Which I think is the stupidest comparison ever. And I don't know what that was. <laughs> Buck, <laughs> I ain't trying to get bit. Which I think is the stupidest comparison ever. But the comparison is, it, to me, I guess it's understandable if you look at weekends and parties, music in the beginning sounds similar. What I mean by is pushing a narrative and pushing it out. So, so weekends a perfect example of that. The weekend gradually pushed himself to another level. Whether people say he's commercial, whether people say what's his name, he got out of that mold and he's in. Now he can always go back to that, but he pushed it to another level. See, people like Party, and it's not the rag on Party, but all his music to me sounds the same. Now, granted, people he has a fan base that he got to cater to people got to understand if you're a musician you're striving to get better not to make how would i say this you're striving to get better not to make just your core fan base like what you do better you try you're striving to push the envelope to become a better artist overall and bring in people who you necessarily is not your fan base. That's the whole goal. It's not to just just uh, do music that your fans like. Because if that's the case, you're always going to be running in place. So, I guess in closing, Night Mode uh, is one of those albums, I think, that... Or, or EPs, I think, that could have been... I ain't gonna say it could have been better. I'm gonna say it's, it is what it is. But moving forward, I think that this group, from 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 what I'm hearing, just push the envelope, man. Push it to the next level. I think because you have the you have the chance to do that. You don't have to have this modern sound that's slowly dying. You know, it is. It's really slowly dying. Like, if you don't really see what's going on now, it's slowly dying. So just, I say push the envelope, man. I'll give this album, I'll give this album a strong seven. Um, it'll be something I'll probably listen to throughout the year. I'll listen to it again. And I recommend it. Strong seven night move. Tonight. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Torture Talk. You know what it is.